It's Sunday night, we've come back up to Glencoe because we've both got Monday off. This was a last minute decision, we thought let's head out the city again, doesn't matter what the weather's like, we'll go for a walk. And we've come to one of Scotland's most famous mountains. We've done this climb before about two years ago, and we're sure that just behind the house here, there will be a path that will lead us right up through that snowy bit, and then up the ridge to the left all the way to the summit. So we'll head back to the van, and tomorrow, this is all ours. And it started absolutely chucking it down. And this is my pyjamas, so we're going back to the van. Oh man, whose idea was this? Ah, whoa. Good morning. We've got neighbours. <laughs> for a while there it was looking a wee bit touch and go, whether we'd even get out the van today, never mind go for a walk. But it's amazing what a bit of sun does. It sparked us into action as well and we're ready to go. If you don't like the weather in Scotland, just wait 10 minutes, it's never been truer. It's quite funny, we can see a lot of walkers today, but they're all on the other side of the road. We're the only people going this way. Man, that is stunning. Great, another name I can't say. Lagan... Lagangari? No idea. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a wee bit apprehensive about doing this this morning. The last time we did it, as I say, it was about three years ago and we were maybe a wee bit fitter back then. We were out hiking all the time. I think we'd done Ben Nevis on the Saturday and we came and did this one on the Sunday. But today it's gonna to be a different story, I think. We'll certainly be testing our fitness, that's for sure. From the other side, that's where you see the kind of big pyramid shape. That's its most famous side. But from here, this is where the easier ascent is to the top. I do remember some sections with quite a big rocks you need to not really climb but yeah kind of scramble over them yeah and i remember climbers like proper climbers on another side yeah which maybe we'll see some today just over here behind us there's seven deer at first we only saw the one but they're so well camouflaged that we were like oh two three four five six seven there's probably more but we just can't see them When I see these massive rocks lying here, I always think, I wonder how long ago it was that that fell? That could have been hundreds, thousands of years ago. What do you think? Give I me think a... I heard it this morning. It fell this morning. <laughs> Maybe it was you snoring. 10 minutes in, stop for a break already. The summit. <laughs> Good push. Look at that beautiful mountain water. <sighs> For a while there we couldn't see the path. It wasn't very recognisable, you just had to kind of walk through the waterfall. But now you can see the steps again at last.
the great thing about doing these walks in Scotland is even when you're absolutely knackered, the view. I think I'll put my rain jacket on, that's getting heavy. Okay. The rain is on and it's making these rocks really slippy. So we're just taking it extremely slowly. getting to that stage now where every footstep is hard and we're not even at the snow yet as we make our way up to the ridge there's quite a lot of scree and this is the stuff that I find really tiring That has been really difficult. But we've taken it slow and we're almost there. The rain didn't help. But it's brighter here. It is brighter. Almost at the ridge. Well done! <laughs> We've made it up to the ridge. As soon as you come over the top, it is absolutely freezing, very windy, but we're glad to have got to this stage. The summit is up that way. You're doing good. As we make our way to the top, there's a series of cairns that keep you on the right path, especially when the visibility is not great. And as you can see, it's closing in a bit. That's us passed over just a little bit of a false summit. We forgot that was there. We've still got a wee bit to go. But we're kind of on the dome now, so it's pretty flat. And it's surprisingly calm up here, isn't it? Yeah. Blue sky on one side, clouds on another. Wow. Look at this, I'm so excited.
Done it. stay here for too long as you can see there's a bit of weather sweeping in and we don't want to lose our bearings on the way back down when the weather closes in you can really see the benefit of these cairns to guide you back down the mountain That's what we're faced with for the way back down. Not enjoying the wet weather because it's not ideal for these rocks. But hopefully you can see from this angle the kind of gradient there, how steep it is. There's a couple of guys going down before us. You might be able to see them in the distance. That's been a bit of a scramble to get down there. It's pretty obvious why we didn't film it. We needed both our hands to get down. But now we've got decisions to make. Continue or go across to the scree? I'll go left. You'd go left? You wouldn't. Really? I don't know. Yeah. Let's do it. Rocks are just quite scary now. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Oh well, that was some experience today. Six hours later, we're just crossing the bridge and back to the van. It's quite funny, the last time we did that mountain, it was quite benign. It was a lovely day and it was difficult, but it wasn't too bad, it was manageable. But today, on the way down especially, it was absolutely treacherous. And it teaches us a lesson about the Scottish weather. Because it was wet, all the rocks were wet, every single step was dangerous. We both slipped at some points. But it was fun, but we're so glad to be getting back to the van. Well done. Well done, you. Goodbye, thanks for the lesson. <laughs>